even when the baby popped out until the baby cried gave a big cry i didn't know i'm like oh, she has come out okay hello and welcome to my youtube channel hi this is lara here i'm larry queen okay so this is my birth story my first birth birthing experience okay i've had two babies if you don't know me why did i want to make this video so when i was pregnant and almost at the end i just wanted to see and listen to people's experiences read people's experiences that's why i'm sharing mine so most times when i look through i was looking for positive birth birthing experiences and most times i was just seeing like hypnobirthing and uh, you know water birthing and i wanted a medicated um delivery and I was looking for the most minimal pain pain ever and I didn't mind medication but I just wanted a positive experience and I got it so let me tell you what I went through and what my experience was I delivered my first baby at 37 weeks like three weeks before um, due date I wasn't ex ex expecting to actually deliver at that time. I was still waiting for almost the due date and it came three weeks before, which was okay because I knew baby was matured enough. So that day was 3 a.m. in the morning. I, I was sleeping. So the day before, truthfully, I'm just going to tell you guys what I did. Okay, so the day before I, because I read online that if you take this raspberry leaf tea thing, it helps with bringing labor on. So I was in another country and I wanted it to be really fast. I didn't really have faith in this, but I drank the tea and I ate a couple of dates. That date is terrible. Three, I started having like some contractions and cramps. How did I know that I was in labor? It's because this is my first experience, you know, but I just, I, I used to have menstrual pain. Usually if you have like period pains, you know that I'm pregnant. So where is the period pain coming from? So I just started having like this weird period pain. I said, this is it. I, it woke me up. Like that, that's how bad it was. It woke me up. I'm like, Oh, baby is coming. That's weird. So I stood up, went to have a long warm bath stayed in the bath for some time then came up didn't tell my husband anything then went on youtube very funny all through from the day of my pregnancy from day one to day whatever i never did one form of exercise so what i did your girl did was i went on youtube <laughs> It's still funny to me till now the exercises that bring on labor. So I started to exercise I started bearing down jumping off everything and it was I was in pain But it was bearable and I could speak through it. It was still okay And it was the interval between it was too long. So, you know when you have period pains and then in between it you see you feel better and then it comes again and it goes again so that's how it was all through so i was still able i was still able to breathe through it so i was you know doing the exercise then later on i said let me just rest sleep so i tried to sleep i was trying to sleep in between those intervals but it wasn't possible so i stood up and told my husband husband it's almost time to have this baby i've started having labor pain so he just cried like let's go to hospital like it was like very anxious i said no calm down calm your nerves down it's not time yet i'll tell you when it is time to go to hospital so he just prepared you know i told him just have a bath shower and dress up and get ready put my bags at the door just in case then i had this app i would um, link the app below or put it somewhere the app just tells you when to go to hospital so it times your contractions and it tells you the interval so if you have pain now you just click on the timer so it will time the contraction and then it will tell you and then when it ends when the contraction ends you press it again so it tells you the length of contraction and how often it is coming the intervals at which it is coming so if it's coming like one in five or like that's one minute is lasting one minute and it's taking five minutes for the next one to come then it's time to go to hospital this is like textbook you know labor but that's roughly what happens so that's what i was doing and then when the album told me to go to hospital i still said no it's not enough i needed to be a bit closer so i waited and when i saw that the pin was getting there and the intervals were getting smaller and the, the time um, of the contraction was getting longer. I just said, okay, let's go to hospital. I'd called my birthing partner. That time there wasn't COVID the first time. This was 2020. The, the COVID, beginning of 2020 actually. So the COVID was there, but it wasn't like the way, it wasn't a pandemic at the time. The way we got to hospital, 
pass through um emergency well some lady and some people were like oh this person is in some kind of pain but you know still you know superman superwoman through it still walking like my usual self but every time it comes i just stay wait a little bit for it to go and then come back again so someone gave me a wheelchair one of the old ladies just said like sit on this wheelchair you you know you're not you're in labor so i sat on the wheelchair my husband was pushing me i felt very funny like it was feeling very weird sitting on the wheelchair i'm not sick nothing is wrong with me so i jumped up and started pushing the wheelchair myself <laughs> i'm so funny then later on because the journey between the car park of the hospital to labor was school was quite to labor what was quite long so i just parked the wheelchair like i'm not doing this anymore like i'm just going to walk with my leg nothing's wrong with me so i walked to the labor ward and the lady i said see i'm in labor i need a picture <laughs> so like you we need to even check you to know if it, i said no it is time and i need a picture now i need a picture funny thing one trick for hospital is whatever you need start saying it from the beginning because somewhat hospitals just take time i mean if you need something like if you need a medication you tell the nurses oh i need i'm in pain give me some medication sometimes they take a while because one nurse has to get the medication somebody has to check it and that person has to you know before they give it to you so it's better for you to start telling them early so i had already told myself epidural from the beginning like epidural 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 <laughs> do you know even as i told them from the beginning that i needed epidural it still took over hours before that epidural came at the time because i told them i don't want to get to a stage where i'm not going to take this epidural again i just want this baby out okay. i want the epidural the epidural is coming that's the thing about hospital if you don't ask early like now because this of anesthetist that he has job yet they take them over now i anticipated this exactly that's why i started epidural from the beginning so as soon as they checked me i was epidural because i was already traumatized from being pregnant so i was not ready for anything else the anesthetist eventually came it was stuck in a cesarean section with the obstetrician in the in the theater but he eventually came through and then did the epidural so another thing i used to read through read about or watch is they say oh epidural is bad you know you're going to have pain in your back forever you're going to have um headaches for a very long time epidural is not always bad sometimes it's for the best actually especially with the pain that a lot of women experience and the trauma that can come with them delivery i had the epidural done and um i stopped feeling pain and i didn't have but the side effect the problem with epidural is i couldn't walk around the room anymore i was just laying down there and it slightly slowed the process okay so some doctors would argue with you and say that epidural will not slow process and all but truthfully i think he did because i went on to like 6 a.m really really fast and then after that 6 a.m when the epidural started i was just flexing you know just in and nothing and it took a while before the labor eventually you know it didn't progress fast until i got like syntocin to make it you know go faster but all the same you know even with the um syntocin um the oxytocin i had i didn't feel any pain that's the advantage of the epidural because usually with that iv line you just feel that very bad contraction and it can be really really bad the only problem i had during that time was i was throwing up a lot remember i've been throwing up in pregnancy and then this was going on again so i was just throwing up throwing up all through labor but i still you know i could take throwing up to pain like labor pain if you weigh the options i think i'll pick epidural and throwing up to, to the pain of labor i delivered this baby at past 1 a.m of the next day that's like how many hours now so i got to the hospital at maybe 12 noon ish like into labor ward at 12 noon ish so that's like a complete is that 24 hours 12 to 12 at 10 cm to lara you need to push it was so hard to push because with epidural you know you're not feeling any pain you only feel heaviness on your legs or you just feel heaviness but no pain exactly so you're telling me push so 
I need I actually needed them to hold my leg so they held my leg really tightly and told me just bear down just imagine that my husband at the time that I was trying to push this baby out he was sleeping <laughs> while i was delivering so he almost missed my labor because the pushing was so fast so as soon as he stood up to come check the baby the baby was already like his head was already like out even at the time i was trying to push baby out i was told to touch the baby's head felt really good and nice you know just know what baby felt like inside so the doctor got really worried because um the baby's heart rate started going down that was like it happened like in a split second so she gave me an episiotomy so she said i'm really sorry but i have to give you this cut and that was why i had the episiotomy baby was put on my chest put on my chest i cuddled the baby up and you know they just clean the baby up for you and do the stuff and then bring baby back the baby came out placenta came out the doctor quickly um repaired the area back i didn't even feel the repair she didn't have to numb the area to repair for me i couldn't even feel when like the baby popped out until the baby cried gave a big cry i didn't know so i looked at like, her oh, she has come out and then put it on my chest like i did not feel it so it's quite like a miracle in science especially if everything goes well and so this is the time where you just have to make a decision i'm trying to put this out because a lot of people have like you know they've put this this um epidural stigmatization that it's got going on online and everywhere truthfully i will not belittle people's stories so people have had bad experiences with epidural a few people have had bad experiences if you've had anybody had bad experience please put it in the comment section and um, tell me what the experience was or if you had a bad experience with epidural let me know in the comment section but i had a good experience and i know a lot of women and loads of women that have had good experiences but there's that percentage where you still have that side effects and complications from medical um procedures okay so i had the baby and uh, my legs were still heavy for a couple of minutes no minutes to some hours actually but the nurses will help you to um we so they actually helped me you know you don't even know you want to pee side effects of epidural i had was i was having pain for a couple of days on my back but very mild pain which paracetamol was enough to help with Drew, i didn't even think about it i was just laying down flat on it and didn't really feel it because i was busy with the baby and i think a couple of weeks it went away some women end up having long-term back pain but it didn't happen to me and a lot of women it doesn't happen to a high percentage of women so if you're thinking of a medicated birth and you're thinking about epidural don't let that change your mind especially if you've had a past traumatic experience some women have never forgotten like they've told themselves they're not going to have any children anymore because of labor experiences and it can be quite quite bad so this is my positive birth story thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like share my video to someone that might need it thank you I'm wishing every pregnant woman that's watching this video safe delivery um hopefully things go well for you i wish you the best safe delivery and if you're trying to get pregnant um don't worry it will come very soon by God's grace. Please watch the other videos in this series. Bye. Thank you.